Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Is your weekly 15 to the 21st? There was a message during the pre-shuffle. Majority of you guys okay, will have someone already um, to be together. Okay, I'm not sure how you guys are going to be together, but you guys are going to be together. There was an emperor in the four of one. So someone, um, someone is ready. Okay, that's being prepared if, with that combination. So someone is very prepared to give you or to you to give them, okay, can be, you know, it's like a, a relationship or something solid. Okay, that's what I saw here. Anyhow, let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, 15 to the 21st for my Scorpios. Let's see here. Let's see. Here we go. Got your Eight of Pentacles, be consistent, and you're showing consistency. Okay, can be a Virgo energy at the same time. Eight of Pentacles energy here is just like you, your expectation on what you have placed out there, what you have been putting effort. Um, I feel like it's also time for you to take a break. Okay, I know Seven of Pentacles is a taking a break, but I feel like you were doing it consistent, or they were. So now it's a moment of relief. Ah, <sighs> Uja. Basically, that's what it is. Okay, here we go. Let's see, you're perfecting a craft also. Let me see the other person. Oh! Hello! <laughs> the sun card, let the sun shine in. Could be connecting with a Leo rising, Libra sun. Okay, the sun is not yet in Scorpio, um, you know, in Vedic sidereal. If I'm, it will be soon. It, it will be soon. Okay. Not yet. I believe maybe around the 17th, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when when the sun moves to Scorpio. So I'm sorry if I outed you that you're not a Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> that you're a Libra. <laughs> 17. So on Vedic Sidereal, when the sun, um, once it's this November 17, that's a Scorpio. So if you're watching this and you are before that, chances are you're a Libra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Don't be starborn. I know you're a fixed sign and you already embrace. I am a Scorpio. All right, then embrace it. Nobody's changing you. It's not my birth certificate. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, hello. Six of cups. Okay. <laughs> Someone is reconnecting. What you have been waiting for. Someone to come back to return or your soulmate. Whatever you want to feel. It's just a happy day. You guys have this childlike energy, very, very light. Her family is here. I see it. <laughs> I see it in the window. <laughs> I see it here. It's freeing. It's loving. It's like organic food, you know. <laughs> it's light. It's healthy. This is how this person is to you right now. The sun is here. Both people going in the same direction. The angels are singing. I can't sing like an angel though, you know. I can look like one, but not can sing like one. <laughs> the fire! <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I like this. Here in the hangman, it's different. Okay, <laughs> so the hangman here. Okay, there's no tying there, but they're just they just don't know. Like okay, like this is something good. I'm excited, but I just don't know how to peel to peel to feel. Mm -hmm. Heavy accent right there. Got me off guard. <laughs> My F becomes a P, whatever. <laughs> so, the heavy feeling. I feel like you or this person, you get a poke from the Cupid, from love. It's like, listen, hey, you're in love. You know, this, the other person is getting the tingling feeling. Look at that little Cupid over there. Tingling, tingling. Hey, you're in love. That's it. Hey, you know we're ready. Because remember, the hangman is also looking for the enlightenment. That's that. Someone, if you're feeling that the person is not yet enlightened, like they don't know yet, they know now. Well, both of you with the Six of Cups. You have your Page of Cups. Can be a younger water sign, or you are the younger. Ready to express their love. And I feel that it comes Federal Express. Overnight shipping over here. Mm -hmm. Someone got the goods and the funds. And the other person, King of Wands, very fire in nature, can be an Aries, Leo, and Sag, a doer, okay? So if, they, if you feel like they were stuck one time, they ain't stuck anymore. Let's see what is the divide and the, ooh! <laughs> and the solution. Here we go. This exciting ball of energy over here. What's dividing is the Hierophant. Uh -huh. Here comes the bride. All 
beautiful dress in white. Okay, so can that energy, that's what I say. Is your seventh house active? I believe so, okay. You have here Taurus energy, you're one and seven, the one, the only, the one who's ready to commit. Okay? <laughs> continues this reading because I'm just giggling over here so when they express this love it is solid it is tangible it's two people being united together alrighty have a wonderful wonderful day could be uh, well it's your seventh house so meaning if you're wondering regardless you're a Taurus or not it's about your house of partnership there is gonna be a lot of houses that has to be discussed over there but this is about talking about the person that you can get married, you can be in a relationship with. The delay is over. Alrighty, have a wonder, oh, because of Venus going direct, just sighing, okay? And it's also the best time to get readings, not from me, because I'm totally booked, from other astrologers and other readers, because the sense of light of energy, amazing. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day, Scorpio, bye.